Alright, so this is a very impromptu video and it's something that I've wanted to test for a while, especially for my use case, is running two separate GPUs on the same system from two separate vendors. Um, so I have a GT710 and a RX 550 that's NVIDIA and AMD on the same system. You can see uh, I have my AMD device here, VGA compatible, Lexa Pro, blah, blah, blah and my NVIDIA device here uh, which is the uh, 710 uh, with the GK208 chipset um, but uh, all both the HDMI's are and there's Manjaro running XFCE uh, don't need to bother about the specifics it should work fine my main monitor is on the primary GPU which is on the first slot the, the Radeon um, and, and this is the tiny little display I have that's on the NVIDIA GPU on the second slot. Um, so X standard straight up detects both of them, HDMI A1 and HDMI 1.1. Um, that's on the Radeon, that's on the NVIDIA. Um, and that's how the display manager for XFC4 shows up. And you can, all you have to do is simply just press uh, enable click on the secondary display and enable that and that should come right up right there and uh, it's rotated because the display is rotated that's not the issue um, for any any driver level stuff it's just I've kept the display upside down and now the display should be correct now there are a few things I don't know if it's because of the display rotation but that the secondary display does seem to tear up a bit more so it might be a couple of things might just be the display might just be the graphic card not interacting with the display it might be specific it might not be um the luckily for me at the moment uh, if i run uh any graphical thing um just run glx gears actually you know what let's run gl mark 2 well, that shows all the GPU stuff. I know I can use info with it, but I have a camera in one hand. Um, if, if we run GLX Gears, you can see it runs on the primary GPU. And um, if I move it, uh, let, let this benchmark in. And if I move it, you can see you have a score of around 4000 currently uh, FPS. And it, it doesn't change a whole lot. Like the FPS from going from one display to the other it does not matter all that much uh, although on this display it's not displaying anything but even if it's half on the other display half on this display it's about the same or as it would have been if it would have been on the main display so um, performance is not um, really an issue um, now I'm just going now let's try running GL Mark II straight up on that display alright so let's see which GPU it picks up it should still pick up the Radeon um, but we'll see yep it still picks up the Radeon so that will be the primary display I don't know if it's there's a way to make the other one the primary or the main render card um, but it looks like it's picking up at least in this case now this is not my main system. Um, this is a test system that I use. Uh, it's like I have Manjaro installed on it on a CF card. Uh, on my main system I run Fedora with KDE and Wayland so I don't know how exactly this will behave. But for me for right now the use case I have this actually looks pretty good. Um, so again the use case is I am running out of HDMI ports. I need more monitor. I have a multi-desk setup which I still use as a single user not not the proper multi-desk set, setup in Linux terms um, but yeah I need more monitors and I'm running out of ports so this was one of the options um, I didn't want to buy a new graphic card because of the current situation with the prices I just had a couple of AMD GT710s lying around oh, sorry Nvidia GT710s lying around uh, and my main card is an AMD RX 580 which I still want to keep as my main card so for now um, this looks like it's working as far as I can tell so 
podcast thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one